Well, I think in your lead in to this discussion, you laid out very well the risks of a no fly zone because it would bring NATO forces into direct combat with Russia and that could escalate into even potentially a nuclear war. Uh, at the same time, uh, one does not want to see indiscriminate destruction in Ukraine. And so an alternative would have been simply not to stipulate that there definitely would not be a no-fly zone, to recognize that it's not something we want to do at this point. But it's not inconceivable that if the types of attacks the Russians undertake are so devastating, if they use chemical weapons or nuclear, tactical nuclear weapons, that at some point it's possible, conceivable, that NATO would get involved.